Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to take a look at automated advanced landing page generator. Here we have some options. By the way, this is using Streamlit, and we're gonna take a look at the code soon. We can have the navigation menu fix at the top. We can select column layouts, let's say two columns. Let's pick three cards, dark mode, and we can also select alert options from easy toast to sweet alert. And we can, let's include everything, include a hero section, testimonials, pricing, models, and just click generate landing page. And it takes, depending on how many options you've selected, anywhere from 10, 20 seconds to a minute. So here we go, our website is generated and we can see a template review. And there was the easy toast alert up here, but here we go. We have the amazing service, feature one, feature two, what our customers say, pricing plan, get in touch, the footer and everything. And here is the generated HTML code. You can copy it directly from the Streamlit interface, but uh, this is also saved to the index.html as well using these pre-chosen uh, images. So that's it. This is how it works. It creates landing pages. Let's, for example, just go for uh, testimonials section and let's select, and this time let's go for a fixed side. Let's see what happens this time. We are using GPT for Omni. So this is a quick uh, little page generator. I mean, you can generate just simple parts and you can copy and paste them from the HTML code. It's really useful, I think. You can customize it for your own use. Generate something generic and then modify it. And all you can also modify the code for it as well, which we're gonna review here in a moment. There we go. This is the, the template preview. As we can see, we have a header and a footer and testimonial to trust and credibility with some images there as well. So this is uh, more or less how it works. Let's try the colorful too, and let's include a features section. And I will review the code right after this. By the way, the code files for this project will be available at Patreon. The link will be in the description. If you're enjoying my projects, you can check out my website, echohive.live, where you can find all my videos and you can find the code download links to them at my Patreon to every one of them. You can also check out my courses as well. Here we go. We uh, got the key features and the testimonials. And as we have specified, our navigation is fixed to the side. Also, we did select the color team is colorful, so we have some gradients. And as always, we have the uh, HTML right here, which you can easily modify. It uses Tailwind CSS. So now let's see how this works. Requirements for this project is uh, OpenAI, Term Color, and Streamlit. And just before we review the code uh, to run the project, you just type in Streamlit, then run. And the name of your file here, in this case, we're using index.py, but it could have been anything else. I mean, you run this uh, Streamlit will automatically launch, but you also get to see the link right here to localhost 8501. And here is our app. So this is how we launch it. So if you look at index.py, we are using Streamlit. Uh, we are actually using the uh, OpenAI Unify class that I've created. This is just a, a class I've created to make API calls in a simplified way. This, so you can deal with streaming responses, JSON mode, and all of that, and also has some nice uh, methods such as chat, trim history, clear history, uh, and add message, stuff like that. It just manages the usual uh, API call stuff. If you want, if you'd like to know more about it, you can actually find the video for this at my website. If you type in OpenAI Unified, it's this video right here. Where I go into detail on uh, how I build it and why I build it. So, so simply we import the GPT calls class from that and we import HTML and OSS. I've actually forgotten if HTML is an external library. You may have to pip install it. Just keep that in mind. So we just have a function to get image path for the images because we have some default images that we are using. Uh, of course, once you have your HTML file, you can modify these images to better suit your needs. Okay. Uh, so this is for templating purposes. And we have a, a function to convert the images to uh, base64 encoding and to replace the image paths. Uh, this is uh, only necessary for Streamlit uh, because, because we are trying to, as we've seen before, we are uh, displaying the HTML page on the Streamlit web app uh, using iframe. And that's why we actually have to uh, do these image path translations. But other than that, we initialize our GPT calls with the model uh, GPT-40 and we set streaming to false so we don't 
get to see the model output. If you set this to true, you're well. And it's, we have we define another function, generate HTML, which is going to receive all the types of information which we are going to pass from the streamlit UI. If you look at here, see all these options are going to be passed into this function. We are currently just defining it. And once we have these, these are going to pass onto this really long F string. So this is where the crux of the situation happens. So this is the message that we're going to be sending to GPT. There we're saying using Tailwind, create a detailed and beautifully styled HTML for a landing page with the following features. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. Logo and navigation. Logo should be well-placed according to the selected layout. And we enter the layout type dynamically from what has been selected here. So you can see where this is going. We are giving it quite a lot of instructions. Logo image source should be. We are actually giving it which image it should use for icon. It's just a template, which, uh, of course, we are expecting to replace once the page is generated. You can also feel free to change it in the instructions itself. Like I said, this entire string is the message to the GPT. Navigation bar should be placed according to the selected layout. Ensure the navigation is fully responsive and functional. So we are giving it quite a lot of instructions for each uh, part of the HTML document. And if show hero, because if we had selected here, here include hero section, then this is going to be added text plus equals hero section, and then the descriptions for the hero section. Then if show features is selected, then we add the instructions for the feature selection. Same for testimonials, show pricing, contact, and visual elements and design. Implement the selected color schema according to the color theme that was that we are going to be selecting from here, right? light, dark, or colorful. Section grid and layout, arrange sections in a grid type, column grid, whichever uh, option was selected here. If include cards, incorporate card-based layout within the section. If show models, alert on models, implement alert library styles for important notifications and functional models. Uh, trust signals and credibility, and footer is always there. Responsiveness and accessibility, SEO optimization. So if you actually look at the index.html, it should have a title, a description, so these are good for SEO, search engine optimization. And then what else do we have? Performance and testing, optimize the page for fast loading. And then please generate the complete HTML code while structured, properly indented. And then at the end, we also include that selected features as an add-on. Please ensure that the generated HTML only includes the selected features. So this is like almost double instructions. We have included in this entire instruction, but we are also including a summary of it, navigation layout, section grid, cards, card theme. So these are all conditional F string st if statements. So this is pretty much how it's done then. We response generator, we're just going to use the chat method uh, and we're going to make the call with the text and the selected features. And then we're going to get a response uh, back and then response text, we're going to uh, join it and then just write it to index.html file. Uh, unless there's an error, then we print that error and get the HTML download link. Oh, once the page is generated, it also actually generates a download link. I forgot to mention, this is for that, so that we can assign an HTML download link. Maybe I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that real quick. Just Let's just generate something uh, while we are talking about the code. And then in our main function, we set the page config which is going to have a page title, advanced landing page generator, page icon is going to be rocket, layout is wide, and title is advanced landing page generator. And this is what we see here at the top right here in the browser tab, and also the advanced landing page generator here. And with side with side with sd.sidebar, we're going to have a subheader navigation, and we're going to have a select selection box, which is going to include options, fixed stop, fixed side, hamburger menu. Same with subheader sections with one column, two column, and three columns. And you can see these here. Select navigation layout with those three options and sections. Uh, so 
before I continue, I think somewhere down here, there's a download HTML file. You can actually download it, but you would have to copy this to your working directory where the images are. Uh, also, just so I know that it's already the saved index.html as well. I just wanted to show you that uh, it's a possibility too. So not only that, HTML is saved to a file automatically. You can copy and paste it here. You can preview it here, but you can also download it. Just wanted to mention that. So with in our index.py file with the subheaders, we just give the options right here. So these are all the options that are displayed uh, on the sidebar right here. We can close it and open it. And the rest of it is the with st.form. When you use a form with Streamlit, then you can select a bunch of stuff and the script will not rerun. And rerunning of the script is not triggered unless the button that button that acts the way the form is pressed. Otherwise, each action on a Streamlit web app is actually going to trigger a rerun of the application. So this is why st.form is nice. So here are all the options for those checkboxes. And here is a list of uh, image files. This is necessary to create to, for, to create the uh, links for the, the iframe. If submitted, then we just do some manipulation on the nail layout, section grid, and include cards. Here with st.spinner, we say generating landing page, then we call the generate HTML, which was this long function we just talked about. Right here, see we are passing all these uh, parameters. And then uh, we get the HTML content. If no uh, error occurred, then we get the modified HTML content. We replace the image paths, encoded the HTML, we escape some characters, and then we input it into an iframe with the SD subheader template preview. We display it. So this is why we had to do some additional hacking. And at the end, we say generated HTML code and SD.code, we display the content. This is when we see the code, right? This this one, the component that we want that HTML to show the iframe, this preview right here. And the next one is to show the HTML code. As you can see, that's why we're using a C.code. And with the markdown, we have a, a download link. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know what you think. I think this is a good start. Uh, I think this is useful as it is, but it can be modified uh, for many other use cases. Code files for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description. And if you like my content, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. I'll see you in the next video. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects. As a patron, you will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.